your culture of use and reuse. Um, I'm going to try and study you in five minutes on the idea that printing is one of the original recycling things. Um, you, Gutenberg, Gutenberg is where printing for printing historians kind of begins. And Gutenberg invented. Printing. Oh, Bible. It's absolutely the uh, epitome of reuse. Um, let me explain. Gutenberg was operating back in about 1450, 1440, 1450. Um, and um, this stuff was being used up until, well, I, when, I, when I was working at the University Press, they closed the printing works in 1986. They were still using this stuff. Um, it's an invention that went on for more than 400 years. Um, very briefly, what you have in front of you is a letter. And it's a um, page, yes? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and it's backwards. And that's because all the printing consists of inky surface, piece of paper, squashing together, peel them apart, something sticks to the paper. Put ink on your right hand and do that, ends up looking like your left hand. So you've got to start off reading backwards. Um, the great trick with this stuff is that you can rather obviously assemble this into words. Um, um, and with words, you can make up lines of type. And you can turn lines of type into pages. And you can print the pages. You see, words. My little party piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the great trick with this stuff is, because of that, all that you need to print a book is enough of that material to print one page. And having printed that page in 200 copies, 300 copies, whatever, you can take it all apart, put it back in the correct place, and then you can print the next page. And if the book's 300 pages long, you reuse this stuff 300 times. Reuse. It's what actually all the printing is based on, the reuse of type. Movable type is reusable type. Um, very important. Um, Gutenberg, as I say, came up with the idea back in 1450. It lasted 450 odd years. Um, pretty good invention. Uh, quite a complicated technical invention, but I shan't bother you with the details unless you really want to know. Um, when it does get worn out, you can melt it down and make it into new type, which is even better. The actual sort of <coughs> non reusable consumables in a book are practically nil. I mean, you make the book and the waste is very, very small. Uh, that's partly because of the time you were doing it and you couldn't afford to waste a lot of stuff, not like we can today. But partly it's just a very economical, very uh, eco-friendly even way of doing things. Um, you might dispute that when you hear this is made out of lead and tin and antimony, but uh, that actually doesn't degrade if you don't do most of all things to it. Um, paper. Another great example of reuse. What do you make paper from? Rags. Yeah. Old rags. You take a load of old rags and you put them in the corner of a damp shed. And if you're not very well behaved, you pee on them and let them rot a bit. <laughs> then you put them in a stamping press and you break them up into fibres. You make a mush out of them. And you put a big sieve into the mush, pull it out, let the water drain away, and you've got a sheet of paper. Um, it's a great business. I mean, printing on printing in the, the days of hand presses and things is a great business of recycling. Um, cleaning materials, what would you use for cleaning up with you cleaning ink and stuff? You really don't want to know this. <laughs> um, ink has got oil in it, linseed oil, nice plant oil, you know, it's good environmental stuff. And if you're trying to get it off the type, um, one of the ways you can do it is to turn it into soap using an alkali. Um, and one of the cheaper and more available forms of alkali is um, pea. <laughs> um, along with burnt ash. I mean, if you take wood ash and you put water in it, you get, um, uh, you get mild caustic soda, and you can turn the oil into soap. Soap is soluble, ink comes off the type. So printing, in general, is quite a good ecological process. It reuses really pipe. Ink is uh, oil, linseed oil, and soot. Um, 
usually needed actually specifically burn stuff in order to get the switch, but sometimes you just collect the dolls. So it's, it's a remarkable example of reuse and recycling. Um, it goes a bit further than that. Um, printers. I always try and explain this very well. Why does a printer print? I mean, what's, what motivates the printer to spend their time printing? <laughs> yeah, the spread of knowledge. Okay, the market. Huh? Selling things. The yeah, money. Making money. Money, it's in business. I mean, it's, they do it for money. A, a side effect is that you spread knowledge and you spread learning and stuff. I can assure you the people who print don't care about that. They really don't care a damn about what it is that they're printing. It's putting ink on paper in order that you can sell it. Um, but it's, uh, I've lost my train of thought now, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, no, it's gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, printing is about money, that's, that's why you do it. Um, yeah, you do recycle other material in printing. Printers are basically cheap, you do it for money. One of the other things you recycle is illustrations. Um, are you, any of you familiar with the Nuremberg Chronicle? that sort of period. Yeah. If you look at that, you'll find that um, you know, uh, whatever, um, St. Augustus turns up as King John somewhere else, and they just recycle the wooden graving. Um, and printers have been doing that for a long time. I, there's a little example mm -hmm. here. Um, the Bodley in here has a very fine collection of ballads and um, street literature. And um, there's a gentleman who's been working with the engineers to do image recognition, Giles Burgle. And um, Alex, it was, I think, Alex Franklin. I don't know why she did this, but um, she put the hat of a particular figure into the image recognition stuff. And it turned up attached to a completely different person um, many years later. Printers do that sort of thing. Someone needs a hat, you hack it off someone else's head, <laughs> put it on there. Um, you know, Queen Elizabeth the first turns up as the you know, whore of Fleet Street two or three <laughs> centuries later because it's a picture of a woman, that's what you need. Um, uh, apologies for the sexist, but I mean, that's how it works. Um, printers recycle, they reuse, they redo, uh, and it's all in the name of making more money. Um, we're going to have a little go at some printing this morning. Um, Enrico's kindly bought some old bits of paper which we've got images on. I was looking through 